Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we're we'll learning about some opera here at Troy University. My guest today is Connor Murphy White, a member of Troy University's Opera Workshop. Uh, thanks for joining me here today. Thank you for having me. And uh, as I mentioned, you're a member of the Opera Workshop, mm -hmm. which is kind of an un unusual name for a group or an organization. T tell me about what makes you an opera workshop. Well, we obviously are working with the classical opera scenes, um, but it's really just we're workshopping all of the scenes. We are an opera ensemble, but we are learning about how to sing an operatic role and that genre. And so it's, a, it's an educational environment, but uh, you get a chance to put on a little bit of a show. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Yes. So talk about the show that, you're, that you guys got coming up here. So. We have a show November the 2nd at 7 o'clock in the Long Hall Band Room. It's called Scenes of Sondheim and Bernstein. It is an opera program, but it's classical musical theater operetta. And so, you know, a lot of folks out there, uh, probably when they think of opera, their first thought are these Wagnerian, uh, you know, Brunhilds with the, yeah. the horns and the, yeah. the big booming voices. But that's not what we're going to be no, expecting out no, of this. No, that's, so. not, that's not what we're singing. Um, we're doing Sondheim and Bernstein, mm -hmm. which, as I said, it's classical musical theater. Um, it's there's a little bit of comedy. There's a little bit of drama. Everyone in, would enjoy this It's a really great show with beautiful singing beautiful singing and that's, yes. and the part of it that makes it opera is the fact that you're incorporating singing with a bit of a performance element, yes, right? So, exactly. so you're bringing things from musical theater, some things that yes. people out there are probably familiar with, right? Yeah, uh, we started with West Side Story. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. Um, and we have scenes from Candide, Company, just all of the really great classics of Sondheim and Bernstein. And so now uh, with this, uh, this opera and something a little bit more that folks are accustomed to, not the traditional classical yeah. opera. Uh, do you think it makes it a little bit more, uh, I guess, uh, easier for people to to uh, watch and see the show and, and kind of absorb and, and, and understand what's yeah, going absolutely. on? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the first thing is it's sung in English. Mm. We're not singing in German or Italian. <laughs> so you definitely understand the language. And it is it is really heartfelt. Like I'm, I'm Maria in West Side Story, and it's it's a really great journey that I go through that the audience can can watch and enjoy. And now uh, you've been working on this. You talked about this because of a workshop you've been mm -hmm. working with us. And you've had a chance to have uh, someone, a special guest on campus yes. to help get prepared for this. Talk a little about how, how you've prepared for this. Well, obviously our director, Dr. Christy Amundsen, has blocked all of the scenes, but we actually have a guest clinician here today and yesterday. His name's Kurt Olds. He's an international Broadway star, but he actually got a start in opera. And so he workshopped all of the scenes and he threw his little magic in there. And he's done master classes for the music department and the theater department. And we're just so honored to have him here this week. And of course, Ed, to be able to work with someone who has the experience in, in both opera and Broadway yeah. and, and to be able to help you you know, hone that performance. I, I would think that that's got to be a, a kind of a special way to get you a little bit more prepared. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's he's done wonders with all of the scenes. I've I've had the privilege to watch some of them, and it's just it's just a great honor to work with him. And now uh, with this sort of performance, you got you've how you know. How long have you been working on getting this together? Is it, has this been a, 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 a year-long effort, semester-long effort? Semester-long mm -hmm. effort. We started in August. Mm -hmm. We got our music, and we were blocking within three weeks, and we had to have the music learned and memorized and have all our blocking notes, and then Kurt came, and he cleaned everything up. And, and to me, I would think that, you know, singing... It might not take that long, but obviously it's taken a few months to get it together. Yeah. So it won't, I, I would never have thought it would take that long to put a show like this together. So. Well, sometimes, sometimes you can put a mm -hmm. show together in a short amount of time, but we only get two hours a week with each other. Mm. So if you think about the time, we haven't had that much mm -hmm. time together. We have to learn our music on our own and have it ready for our director when we come in. <laughs> but we've only had two weeks every uh two hours every week together. So it sounds like it's uh, going to be a good way to get all this together for performance. Yes. And when and where is this performance? It is November the 2nd at okay. 7 o'clock in the Long Hall Band Room. All right. And uh, admission? 
It's free. So it's a it's, free. Yes, it's no one has to worry about. Free. No one has to worry about a, a ticket price. Exactly. For that. So, so good opportunity to see a, a free show, uh, something that some people may be familiar with, and yeah. a, a good opportunity to see some of the vocal talents of some Troy University yes, students. Yes, sir. So, oh well, I want to thank you for joining me, thank you. and uh, good luck with the performance. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.